everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're ranking over 100 Nintendo Switch games that have come out on the Nintendo Switch. So, without further ado, let's get into our tier list here. Highest ranking being S+, I'll reserve that for one game. And then, all the way at the bottom, we have Haven't Played Yet. So if there's any games that I haven't played or like looked into at all, or even tried out, I'll just put it down there. I haven't played yet, but here we go. Starting off with 1-2 Switch, this was a terrible game. Um, it came out um, when the Switch first released on day one. Some families probably enjoyed it, but I think this should have maybe just been free with the Switch, maybe come with it. But it's definitely not worth $60. I'm going to be putting it... It's a decent concept, so I'll probably put it in D. It won't get an F, it'll get a D. Um, next we have... What is this? Adv Advanced Wars, is that what it's called? I have not played that, so we'll put that there. Arms, this game, I'd give it a B. It has pretty good controls, and it's not too expensive, so I like that game. Tetris 99, it's a good, cheap game. If you want something to download off the eShop on your Switch and you just want a new game to try out, I'll give it a B as well. Mario Golf Super Rush, this is one of the newest games. This came out this year in 2021. Um, I have reviewed it on my channel. Let's see, where is it in my collection here? It's a very good game. I'll give it um, an A. It would be a B because when it first came out, it was pretty bare and it didn't have that much. But because of all the updates, I'll give it an A. This game I have not played. Box Boy Girl, I'll give this a C. It kind of reminds me of Mario Maker a little bit. Bayonetta, I think that's what this is. We'll give this a B. It's a good story mode. Clubhouse Games is actually better than I thought it would be. You can download the demo on the eShop. I've played that. Uh, I think it, it's a cool game. It's pretty cheap now, and you get a bunch of games with it, so I'll give it a B. Jump Rope Challenge, I think it was interesting. I'll, I'll give it a D. I didn't really like it. Mario Tennis Aces is probably... One of my least favorite Mario games that I have, so I'll give it a C. It's a fun sports game, but I just never really got myself fully into it. Bravely Default 2. Um, I tried this out. I'll give it a C. It's not my type of game. You either like it or you don't, I think. I have not played this Hyrule game. That's some sort of Zelda game. I haven't played that one. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, I'll give this. It's a decent game, but I, it kind of gets boring quickly. So I'll give it a C. Next, we have Superhero Girls. Absolutely not. I'm giving that an F. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I love the Donkey Kong Country games. They're rumored to be making another one coming out in 2022. This was such a fun game. We're going to be putting this in... I'll give it A. It was such a good story mode. I really enjoyed it. Even though it's a port from the Wii U, I still enjoyed it. Brain Training, I haven't played. I haven't played either of these two in the series. Um, I'll give this a C. Let's see. Let's skip all over here to Fitness Boxing. This reminds me of Ring Fit. And I feel like that's just an interesting game. Probably, a lot of people probably bought it during the pandemic. I'll give it a C. These fitness boxings, I'll just put them right there. Ring foot is, is interesting. Um, yeah, I guess it's an interesting way to work out. You can do it if you'd like. We'll do this game. I have not played that one. I have not played this. I haven't played any of these anime games. I have not played really. Fire Emblem, I'll give a B. Both of the Fire Emblems here, or all three of these. Big Brain Academy, this is a newer game. I tried the demo, I'll give it a C. Animal Crossing New Horizons, wow. So let me just put my, there's only one game I can choose for S+. That's will be my all-time favorite game of all time. Which game will it be, Animal Crossing New Horizons or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Animal Crossing was so much fun. It was my first Animal Crossing game, and like many of you guys, 
probably your first as well. It's such a fun game, especially after we got that 2.0 update. It was am amazing on that day when it released and that trailer and everything. It has such a good community. Whereas there's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is such a fun game. The number one selling Switch game, but it hasn't received any updates. So which game do I like better, Animal Crossing with all these updates or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Well, because I've always loved the Mario Kart franchise and that is my favorite of all time. Ever since the good old Wii days. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is my all-time favorite game. It gets S+. Animal Crossing New Horizons gets S tier. It's such a good game. I recommend anyone to get it. I love that game. Um, so yeah, my all-time favorite game of all time is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The first game I bought for the Switch and probably the first game that you guys should buy as well. Or at least you should have it in your collection. It's very fun. Speaking of Mario Kart, Mario Kart Live, I'll give that a C. It's a cool concept, but I don't have room in my house to drive a car around. It's just going to hit furniture, and I'm pretty sure it's the same for all of you guys. So I give that a C. Um, hopefully they have a new Mario Kart game soon. What other games can we put in S tier? Super Mario Odyssey is another must-have for the Switch. The controls are so good. And the story mode is just incredible, so we're putting that in S as well. And they're hopefully going to make a sequel for that. Um, Splatoon 2, I'll give that an A. That's a really, really fun game. And Splatoon 3, I'm not sure why that's on the list. It hasn't even come out yet. But we'll just put that next to Splatoon 2. Very fun um, shooter type game. Let's see, next we're going to do what other S tiers can we do? Mario Party Superstars is a fun game. It's kind of stressful, it's kind of hard. I'll give that an A, that also came out this year. For the most part, I enjoyed that. It's a really good game to play with friends and family, here it is. So I'll put that in the A tier as well. Next we have Metopia. I'm going to put that in C. I played the demo. I had that as a little series on my channel, and at first I was like, hey, maybe I'm going to buy this game. But then it turned out I did not like it at all. It was a decent story mode with your me, but it was just kind of boring to me. It didn't keep my interest for very long. Flip Wars, we're putting this. Uh, I'll put that in B. Game Builder Garage, I tried that out. I think that's a really cool idea that you can build your own games. But I did not buy it, so we're going to put it in D tier for me. Go Vacation, I've never played that. Good job, I haven't played that. What in the world even is that? Another Hyrule game. This one, I've tried. We're putting this one. Uh, we'll put it in D tier. I'm not the biggest Zelda fan. Sorry for all of you guys who are Zelda fans. I know it's such a good franchise. Zelda Breath of the Wild. This should be, I'm guessing, an S game for everyone. Uh, <laughs> I'm just not the biggest Zelda fan, so I'll put it in A tier, even though it probably should be S. For most of you guys, it probably is. Same with Zelda Skyward Sword. We're going to put this in B. Breath of the Wild, it's fun, but it it's just not as interesting to me as Mario games. But they're going to make a sequel to that. It's a lot of interesting. Zelda Link's Awakening. We're putting that in B tier as well. Paper Mario the Origami King. This game, I think it's a cool story mode. We'll give it a B. I'm not as interested in Paper Mario as the other Mario games. Metroid Dread, I have that and I reviewed it. And I haven't even played it for, I'd say, not even an hour. I lost interest right away, even though I know it's doing really well. We'll give it a B because it's a really well-designed game, but I just am not enjoying it as much. Another Hyrule game. This one is not as good. Uh, Kirby Fighting 2, B, uh, there's a lot of Bs on this list. Kirby All-Star Allies, I'll give that an A. Luigi's Mansion 3, I'll give that an A as well. That's a really good game, it's cool that Luigi's getting his own games on the Switch. Like that. Um, Pokemon Snap, I don't like the concept, I did try it out. We'll give it a B. It's an interesting game. You go around and try to like take pictures of Pokemon. It's interesting. This game I have not played. 
Same with this one. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This game's coming out in 2022. I'm gonna just predict that it's gonna be an A tier. It's like a 3D world game, kind of like Super Mario Odyssey was. So I'll give it an A, even though it's not out yet. Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Classic Mario games. I love. Reminds me of the Wii version, New Super Mario Bros. That was a fun game. I really enjoyed it. I beat the whole thing. We'll give it an A. Next, we have... These games on the Nintendo Switch, you can get these if you're an online member. I'll give it a B. Part-time UFO, a D. Pikmin 3 Deluxe, I know a lot of people enjoy that game. That's a C for me. Pokemon, what is it, Brilliant Diamond? Where do I want to place this one? I'm not the biggest fan of Pokemon, so I have not played almost all, any of these. This one I have, we'll put this one in B. Next we have, wow, look at all these Pokemon games. I have barely played any of these. So I'm just going to put them here. You guys can let me know, comment down below what you'd put these Pokemon games in if you're a Pokemon fan. What's the best Pokemon game on the Switch? Like, look at all these. I don't have room for all these things. Pokemon Quest. Shield and Sword. Maybe I need to play some of those games sometime. I'm just getting rid of all the ones I haven't played. This one, I did not like at all. I'll give that an F. Snipper Clips. That was terrible. Another Kirby game. This one, I'd give a C. More Nintendo Online membership games. We'll give that a B as well. All right, here's a lot of my favorite ones. Mario 3D All-Stars. I love Mario games. We'll give that a B. It depends which uh, version of that I'm playing. Because there's three different games in one there. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. That was a really fun game this year. I'll give it an A. Let's see. Super Mario Bros. 35. I'll give that a B. Super Mario Maker 2, I just got this for Christmas. This is a fun game so far. I've been playing it and enjoying it. Building your own Mario levels is really cool. We're going to put this in... Wow, well, I've only been playing it for a few days, but it's been really, really good. So I'll give it an A. Super Mario Party. So this is the first Mario Party for the Switch that came out. I'll give this one a B. Mario Party Superstars is an A for me. This one I'll give a B. Because it's still fun with mini games. Smash Bros. Ultimate, wow, one of the best Switch games. It's one of the best selling as well. That's an S tier for me. I love that game. Sushi uh, Striker. F. The Stretchers. F. Whatever this game is. F. Um, Yoshi's Crafted World, I tried this. I played through the whole entire demo. Um, some people buy it. I don't think it's worth the money, so I'll give it a C. But I do like Yoshi. I love Yoshi. <laughs> Alright, Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, these games did quite well. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give these all a B. Right up here. Looks like most part the most games have been ranked for a B in my tier list here. WarioWare get it together. I do not understand that game whatsoever. I don't understand the appeal to it. I'll give it a C. Because it's still decently animated and things like that. Uh, triangle Strategy, we're giving that um, a C. So, here we are. We are already done with all these games here. This is almost 100 Switch games here. I think these are all Switch exclusives and Nintendo developed games. That's what it says here. Nintendo published games on the Switch tier list maker. Here we go. Um... Comment down below in the comments what your favorite Switch games are. What's your all-time favorite game? Mine is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And then behind it, Animal Crossing, Mario Odyssey, and Smash Bros. Those are all S-ranked for me. There's my tier list. Maybe I'll do another one of these in the future. Um, shout out to everyone who recommended me doing this video. I know a lot of people have been asking. I'll put you guys on the screen right there. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on your way out. If you haven't liked already, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.